All right, so I wanted to get this on the video. So hopefully <laughs> we're prepared for the hike. Uh, I always try to get where we're at. We're really just back at Ross Prairie Trailhead. Uh, let me just show you where we're gonna be heading off today. This could be, and you know, we're getting to be about the last hikes of the 2021 until uh, the critters go back in. Now, obviously I'm trying to take precautions this time to keep the chiggers and the wood ticks and the fleas off. Uh, who knows how successful I'll be. Now I'll be loading that vinegar and the uh, the DEET into the bag and uh, I'll put some more on as, you know, about an hour into the hike or so. But uh, let's just show you where we are. So this is, this is Ross Prairie. We've been here many times before. Uh, this could be the last time for, well, be last time for a long time because we have to attack the uh, Florida Trail from the other side. Um, this is, the DeSoto Trail, and we've read that before, and uh, so I just kind of want to show you, um, you know, this late in the season, you can see all the snowbirds are gone, so there's hardly in anybody here, uh, even the camping area, there's hardly anybody in the camping area, and it's a little bit warm today, but uh, if you see this fence down here, we're going to hike along that, and then uh, this is, this is going to join up with the Florida Trail, we've already got that on video, so let's get going. All right, we've gotten this on video before, maybe not this particular spot, but I thought this little uh, dirt mound here off to the right was pretty cool. You can see, you know, there's not much. I, I just don't think I'm gonna get the wood ticks and the chiggers, and of course we took uh, massive precautions this time. I mean, I my boots are, my shoes are bloused, I got the deed on, I got the uh, vinegar on, you know, I'm, I can even smell myself. I can smell that deed and smell the vinegar. Uh, but you can see there's really not any leafy uh, foliage, you know, brushing up against you right through here. So it's a pretty easy trail to hike. You know, I highly recommend this. Uh, I know that the hiking season is quickly coming to an end here. And you know, that's another reason I'm out making videos constantly is because uh, here in Florida, you know, you can't, you, well, you could probably get on this trail uh, in, the, in the summertime. But I mean, it's just brutal. You know, and, and of course the critters are out, and we already know that from that hike up into the Ocala Forest. I'm still recovering. I got bites all over me, and uh, but this is just a trail. You know, the I, I guess you call it an offshoot to the main Florida Trail, and uh, we'll be getting there shortly, and that'll be the next video, and I'll get that sign, and because uh, we don't, you don't need to see this again. We've we've already done this, and you, so we're not on the main trail yet. Okay, we have hooked up with the main what I call the main Florida trail. Okay. And I just wanted to give a brief uh, talk here. Um, if you look at the sign, if you went this way, this was a nice hike. We already did this one. It's the Ross Prairie Trailhead, 2.7 miles. It's a nice loop. You, you go down this way, and then it loops and comes, comes back across uh, 200 and then a uh, real pretty hike. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, so, and then of course we just came up this, this is 0.7 miles to the Ross Prairie uh, just to join up with the main Florida Trail. Now, and then of course, if you wanted to go all the way to 49th Street, that would be uh, 7.2 miles. And now, so we're heading towards the Pruitt, P-R-U-I-T-T, -T, Pruitt Trailhead 5.2. Have I ever seen the Pruitt Trailhead? No, I have not. 
we're not going to make it there today. I'm only going to do, uh, well, I, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot to get out here. Um, so, you know, this is the way we're going to be going. Because, uh, you know, so, I mean, even if you get up at 9 o'clock in the morning, you know, by the time I get here, it's 2 in the afternoon. So we're getting a late start. Uh, now, it does stay light till about 8 o'clock, but I don't like to be back here in these woods uh, when it's getting dark. Um, so, you know, I'll try to time it that we get back to the uh, motorcycle about 7 o'clock. Plus, I don't want to ride home in the dark. It's a long ride to get back to the house. All right, so uh, let's get going. Oh, and I just wanted to show you, I brought a lot of water today. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink up and get hydrated. This is the only bench that you're going to see because I've already hiked this before. Once we get on the trail, you know, you're not going to be able to stop anywhere. This is, you know, one, one gripe I have about the Florida trails is that they don't have any benches for you to sit on. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot to put a bench in, you know. Um, have I done it? No, I don't. I mean, but it just seems to me you take a post hole digger, put those down in the ground, two boards, uh, well, two boards here, and you're done. All right, let's, let's hydrate and get going. So just want to get a quick uh, video here. This is the beginning of the hike uh, going towards Pruitt and uh, you can see it's nice and nice and wide well maintained uh, I don't think there's much danger of uh, getting the uh, wood ticks on this uh, you know now whether or not uh, I, it's my deet or just the fact that the trail is nice and wide because uh, you don't have all that foliage brushing up against you but you can see it's real 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 pretty uh, that's why I like this section of the Florida Trail uh, I got the bear spray in my pocket, so that's good, you know. Uh, so we are we are ready to roll, and uh, we're, we're going to get up on some ridges, and I'll, that's where, I, well, maybe we'll get some video before then, and uh, this is just a real awesome section of the Florida Trail that, uh, you know, I, I encourage you to get out on uh, if you just, you know, want a good hike. And, you know, here's a fire break, California. Maybe you should consider putting fire breaks in your woods. All right, let's get going. This is a different look. You know, we just came down that, you know, and it's, uh, it's kind of opened up here. I just thought I'd get this on the video. You know, you can see over here. Um, still nice and wide. No foliage brushing up against me. I'm even checking. <laughs> I'm looking down, see if there's any critters on me. Don't see anything. I don't think we're going to have any problems today whatsoever. Should be a very, very nice hike. You know me and spiders. Look at that. Just gonna get right up next to them. Two of them hanging out right there. Almost walked through that. Let's get around it. All right. Wow, I completely forgotten this. Isn't this nice? Just came up this, this hill and then came up to this sign right here. Uh, foot traffic will travel away from, but look, a bench. I think it's time to hydrate and throw on a little more uh, uh, bug spray and some uh, vinegar and then we'll get going again. I'm probably going to have an apple right here. That's a good place to stop. And I didn't remember this bench, but it's a nice touch. All right, got the heart rate up. This is what I was talking about. I remembered this. So we just hiked up that uh, steep, steep incline and we're getting up onto what I call a ridge. And uh, you go along this for quite some time but it's beautiful because you know you're looking down on the left you know you're looking down on the right Woo. and uh, just a great great hike I uh, will have to turn around at 430 I, I was trying to figure out you know because I want to get back at seven o'clock so let's just just keep hauling but all right, I know I'm taking too much video but we just came down that we're still up on the ridge but isn't this cool just kind of feels like you're going like a, through a little tunnel here, you know. It's uh, really just just fantastic up here on the ridge, hiking through. It's uh, it's really cool. Just wanted to get to get a little more, and then uh, if I see something different, we'll get that on the video here in a bit. So we came down off of that ridge. Definitely would want to walk hiking stick uh, going up and coming down. Uh, just wanted to get this on the video. Let's just enjoy it for just a second. Yeah. 
if you had a tent, this wouldn't be a bad place to put it up if you're backpacking. Thought I'd get this on the video. You know, one thing that we, or I give Florida credit for, uh, and I guess it's my home state now. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be going anyplace else. But see, this is, I'm sure, was a controlled burn. Uh, they came back here. So we, we do real, real good fire management uh, here in Florida. You know, and uh, I'm just real proud of our, our park services and, and whatnot. Uh, you can see they, they burnt this. And that's, uh, that's another reason this hike, I have a feeling, is just going to be fabulous. Because uh, you can see the trail is... I'm making really good time. I'm probably up at about three miles an hour trying to get that heart rate up. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start hiking faster here in a minute. You know, because there's no... Uh, there hasn't been much up and down, but I, there is going to be some coming up. Here's some more controlled burn. Uh, but this, uh, I'm sure that got rid of the critters. <laughs> now we are cutting into... You can see the grass coming up now, so you might be some uh, wood ticks hanging out on some of this. Uh, so it is going to getting thicker as we move along in certain spots but not too bad nothing like the uh the trail through the Ocala National Forest and uh anyway I just wanted to to get the burn and this is kind of what we're seeing I uh, haven't uh been through any cobwebs I can't almost got through one of them but uh you know I showed you that on the video but uh, that was you know you would you could easily see it but uh, I just love love hiking this portion of Florida Trail it really is just wonderful you could probably come back here in the summertime like this you know but i tell you when it gets hot i have a feeling the skeeters are going to be out and uh, you'll probably need bug netting you know right now i'm not having any problems no flies so far no ticks no sugars no fleas <laughs> it's just life is good life is good i always love to give these majestic trees look at that thing i bet that's 300 years old the sun in the video there you go but uh we're just continuing on along uh been checking the pants no critters so i think this is going to be a pretty safe portion trail for every, anybody to hike you know as as temperatures go up it's kind of a warm day today uh tomorrow is actually going to be better weather but uh you know i'm trying to trying to get as much in before summertime hits because you know once it gets unbearably you know 110 degrees it's you can't do a whole lot of hiking in that and if, if i do usually it's on a paved trail or uh something that's really nice and wide open uh, just because uh you know coming back here even though i don't think the bugs would be too bad back here still the mosquitoes are going to come out uh, there's not a lot of standing water around this section of the florida trails he probably even probably wouldn't have that many mosquitoes to worry about but uh, let's just keep on going all right I just uh, the sun went in behind a cloud and the breeze picked up we got another majestic tree here but just wanted you to see this portion of the trail I mean kind of a unique look really really just a great 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 hike man after just being brutalized and, and then of course it's sunny hill hiking through that deep grass for you about snakes you know, here there's, I mean, little or no danger of a snake. You can see where you're putting your feet very, very good. I mean, I'd be very surprised to see a snake on this trail. I mean, I'm sure they're back here, don't get me wrong. Uh, mainly just been the spiders today. That's uh, just trying to knock them down before I get to them. But uh, you can see what I see. It's just, oh, <laughs> speaking of which, dang, on the spiders are back here. That's be a good, good hike someday. You could hike up to this road and then just uh, hike down the road. I guess, let's see, how far I'm, I'm about to, uh, let's see, starting to, about an hour and a half into the hike here. Only stopped to, to get some water and have an apple there. Uh, and I've been making good time. I've been getting up to about three miles an hour, except a couple places where the trail got treacherous. Um, we didn't see we're diving back in right here, but I just wanted to get this on the video because I, one day I'd love to come back and just, you know, just hike down the road here, you know. That would be a good two, two, you know, four hour hike because you by, by the time you walk down here, half an hour and then right, it's going to be two hours going back. 
So the wind picked up and I just went through a cobweb. I hadn't gone very far and <laughs> here's another one right here. So I'm making sure I'm gonna go underneath him. And uh, so a little, one complaint I guess about this portion of the trail, it has been spidery, but that's mainly because nobody hikes it, you know. I won't see a, a single person on the trail back here for sure today, you know. Um, just mainly it's not the snowbirds have gone home and this isn't a real well-known portion of the Florida Trail because everybody goes the other direction. You know, they go back towards, uh, um, towards 49th Street. I can't see with the shade here any cobwebs. I'm making sure <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make sure that I get them this time. So, but this is just uh, continuing on along. But what a beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, I nailed it. I nailed it. I mean, because the breeze picked up. So even though it was a little bit warm early on, you know, but just having that breeze feels good. And beautiful sunny day. The thing I like also about this trail is that you're in the shade most of the time, you know, which is which is good because uh, I get too much sun on my arms. You know, like I said, I got the uh, sunscreen in my motorcycle, but if I don't need it, I don't put it on. Um, and then, of course, for this hike, I knew I wasn't going to need it. Make sure there's no... All right, well... Making a little, little turn here. Oh, I gotta watch where you're putting your feet instead of talking on the video. All right. Thought I get this. You can tell there's some wild pigs back in here. See if we got this grass growing up here now. Might get some critters on me. Uh, but, uh, you know, so you do. Yeah, I'm glad I got the bear spray with me in my pocket. Uh, you know, if one of them did charge me, I'm not sure if it works on the wild pigs or not, but. You know, I dang it, right into a cobweb. Holy moly. As soon as I take, take a second to make a video. All right. Uh, but uh, you can see uh, it's a little bit different, a little bit tight through here, brushing up against the foliage and whatnot. Uh, and uh, I uh, did want to talk about how I was outfitted. I thought about wearing one of those uh, bicycle, uh, you know, shirts, the neoprene or whatever you call it, uh, or... Um, that gun, you know the material I'm talking about. I thought that would be good to wear to keep the uh, the uh, uh, wood ticks off. Um, but uh, it's just kind of kind of scrapey. It's good for bicycling, but I just decided to put the merino wool on because it's so comfortable and wicks that moisture away so well. Uh, now with the bugs, if they get on the the merino wool, you know, of course they it's going to be uh, you know they'll. Don't infest it just like they did that cotton shirt that I had on that day. But uh, it's just so comfortable. I love merino wool. You know, if you're going to hike, it's just, there's nothing like it. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to get those wild pigs, show you what it's looking like. And uh, we'll, uh, I think the next video I'm probably going to take is where I reach a point that I have never hiked. Because uh, I only made it so far on this the last time I was here. And uh, I'm still on a portion that I've, I've hiked before. Now does that remember, you know, do I remember every little piece of it? No, <laughs> I don't. So it's, I mean, it's like I've been having a fresh look, uh, but I'm enjoying it. Just past that road, real nice. I just hiked up that hill. It's where that walking stick comes in handy. And we're back up onto another ridge. This is, you know, I really love being up on these ridges. You can kind of look down on either side. Whew. Got the heart rate up. It's all good. I think uh, when I kept down off of this ridge, will be as far as I've made it before. And uh, we can only go about another half hour before I have to turn back. You know, if I didn't have that long motorcycle ride, I would feel perfectly safe staying back here till almost dark. That would have given me another hour. But uh, I don't want to ride that thing in, in the dark. I've seen too many people around here get killed on uh, motorcycles, especially since I'll be on a main road. You know, if I can get to the back roads, I don't worry about it. Look at that. Isn't it great being up here on this ridge? I love it. I love it. I love it.